everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This one is a Lenovo IdeaPad 3, the exact model is a 15ADA05 and the model name is a 81W1. The other information can be found on the sticker on the bottom of the laptop or inside the BIOS. In this video I'm going to show you guys and take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace your battery for your laptop. If your battery is not holding up any more charge or just discharging really quickly, then you might want to replace yours. Also, at the end of the video, I'll give you a tip how to keep the battery health at its best performance state. Yeah, I'm sorry. You should be doing that once every couple of months. That's really healthy for the battery. But you should definitely do it once you install the new battery in there. Just remember by removing or replacing the battery, you're not going to change anything in the system. Everything's going to be the same way that you left it. So don't worry about that. You no need to back up anything. All right, first thing first, you want to power down, flip it upside down, grab yourself a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit screwdriver set. From this tool set, I'll be using a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, down here you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. There are two types of screws, the short ones and the long screws. The short ones are in the front row and the long ones are the mid towards the back side. So remove all of them and keep them in a separate pile so you don't mismatch them. Also, if you guys find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and supports me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we almost removed all the screws, what you want to do down here is that grab the guitar pick right here, and you want to start from the front corner in the right in here. It's to jam the guitar pick right in between the bottom cover and the commerce right in there. Okay, now you want to just lift it up like that. You want to work yourself all around in the front corner right there, and on the side. Go to the corner back. I'm not sticking the whole guitar pick, just about two or three millimeters to the back corner. This one I see that there's a broken screw hole in here compared to this side here. So that means it was really the plastic is broken, but that means nothing. Lift it up, bring it up. And down here we can see the battery right in here. The battery model name is an L16C2PB1. I'll try to get the link for this battery and I'll leave it in a video description in case you want to purchase yours. Right, first, we cannot disconnect the battery here. It's going to be really uh, risky and because the cables are really tough. So it's easier to remove the three screws for the battery one on the right and two on the left. Remove the three screws. And now simply just grab the battery, bring it up about one centimeter, hold it, and then you want to slide it towards the front end of the laptop. You slide it evenly, make sure the jack comes out evenly. Slide, don't go sideways. And that's how you can remove it. These are one or two cell batteries. And uh, this is an 8.7 volt, 4510 milliamp hour battery, 35 watt hour. So if they sell a bigger capacity, if it has the same screw hole, the same connector, sure you can put it and it will work fine, but I haven't came across any higher capacity. All right, let's say that you got the new battery in, make sure the connector is right in front of you, it open up like this straight. And then what you want to do, you want to align it right in front of the jack and you want to pinch it right in there, make sure you grab it and pinch it and put the screw hole, make sure the screw holes are matching. The tiny Pin here on the right and on the left. Once they go through, it pretty much stays in place. Now you can just put the three screw that you remove from the battery, put it right on top. All right, to finish it off, just grab the bottom cover, align it, put it on top, press the corner, make sure you hear those nice big click sounds on the back corners. Those click sounds you want to hear if you see any gap opening, just Pinch it together and it will go to its place. And to finish it off down here, it put the longer screws on the back towards the mid and the short screws on the front end of the laptop. Now, 
Regarding the initial charge and discharge, it is very important that you follow these steps if you want to have the best battery health for your laptop. Once you put a new battery in there, you do not want to power on the laptop right away. You want to leave it off. If you have powered it on, just power it off quickly. Don't leave it on for a few minutes. Just power it off. Leave it charging at least for four to five hours without the laptop power done. After four to five hours, you want to power on the laptop without the charger being connected. And let it drain the battery slowly. Bring the brightness of the screen down to 50 or 40% and let it just watch some light uh, programs youtube browsing the internet stuff like that once the charge is down to 30 or 20 percent you want to power it off and leave the charger connected for another four to five hours and after that you can just power it as you wish that initial charging and discharging it is very important for the new batteries again i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if you have any question or requests feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next videos.